very excited. Uh, today we're um, starting to break ground, so to speak, and start to build uh, Hamden into a, a field of play fit for form for world-class athletics. Since the days of uh, Eric Little and the uh, Chariots of Fire, uh, you know, Hamden uh, was, was used as, a, uh, as an athletics uh, field of play. It, it really is quite exciting and, and will be very different than what it, uh, it's typically used for for concerts and, uh, and, and uh, football. We've had the Champions League final here, we've had the Europa League final here, we've had many fantastic international football matches here and as you say, many, many rock concerts. This is another feather in Hamden's cap, I would say. It's a wonderful day for the city. I mean, the legacy that's going to be left here after the Games is just going to be absolutely phenomenal and I'm sure citizens of Glasgow will be absolutely delighted. Well, it's good to see works on site, I have to say. You know, you can do all the planning you like, but there's nothing like uh, feeling it's worthwhile when a project starts. It'll be even better once it's finished, I have to say. I'm looking forward to that, but we're on the road and uh, it's good. The turf uh, removal's underway, so we're taking off the first roughly 150 millimetres and that'll give us a better base in which to build the, the, the deck. But uh, prior to the deck coming in, there's eight rows of seats have got to be removed. And also prior to the deck coming in, we'll bring in and put some of the rigging on the roof for the lighting. The real important thing to remember is what we have to produce at the end of the day is a world-class athletics facility and a track that the athletes can perform at their best in. And whatever system we use to create that is, is in some ways immaterial, however it does make it all the more exciting that we are doing something that's innovative. Having them um, in Scotland and obviously getting to be here as part of Team Scotland, it's um, an exciting experience obviously for the athletes themselves and obviously me as well because I'm getting to be here and um, it'll never happen again in my lifetime so having that once in a lifetime chance is uh, exciting. Finally and I, I gather you've been in a football stadium previously where some of the pitch has been removed I mean uh, tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> yes I was at Wembley in uh, 1977 when we beat England 2-1 and uh, um, some some of the supporters decided they'd like a souvenir of that day and uh, took some of the turf back yes uh, and uh, I believe some of the goalposts as well but uh, I'm saying nothing about my part in that.